everybody how is everybody doing today hope you all had a lovely christmas um i have um santa was very good to me i must have been a very good girl all year round um i've got lots of things to show you what i had over the christmas period um not just from chris and family but from the christmas secret swap um just lots of things and i got some upcoming projects exciting things one of them um one of the gifts i had for christmas i've already done so i want to show you that because when i showed it to the group they went oh i've never seen that before um so that was kind of cool to do but that all aside um i'm gonna crack on and do my bb crafts project now before christmas i did the tags using the die cuts and stuff today i'm going to be using the porcelain be beads and my pack of charms but i'm going to do it something a bit different with them so keep watching so what am i doing today so i i've got as you can see i've got some a few bits and pieces on my desk so i have a flat nose pliers a round nose pliers a cutters the beads i have from B bb crafts and my pack of charms i have from bb crafts as well um, I've also got some jump rings that the lovely Pauline gifted me um, over the Christmas period, so I'm going to use them. Now, these are vintage um, pins for fabric and stuff. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to use the quilters pin, but I will be taking some of the pins and doing something a bit different to them. And then in here, because I used to do jewellery making all the time, as you can see, we have some flat, um, what are they called? Flat pins? No. Eye hooks and, oh, I can't remember what they're called now. Flat something. Flat pins? I want to say flat pins, but that's not the correct term. So I've got long ones. Now these long ones are pretty long. Let's see how long they are. They are doo -doo -doo -doo, three inches. And then I have ones that are one and a half inch. Just a different mix, really. That's just over one and a half, so you go one and three quarters. I will lower the camera down as well. So let's take my jumper off because it's boiling in this room. Right, okay. So let's get started. Now, let me lower you down so as you can see i haven't touched any of the beads from bb crafts and i have my pack of charms so in these charms pack there's different ones but they're all um around like sewing related um that kind of thing so let me shake some out on the desk look at them i've never seen charms like these before i've seen scissors but not like these ones you can actually use the handle as well as the little round and i've oh whenever i've seen scissors charms you've you've got to use the actual handle of the scissors for the charm and i i always think that takes away them from what it's supposed to be so these are really gorgeous so i have some sewing machines um some yarn which in our terms is a ball of wool um, some buttons, a measuring tape, oh, and a little safety pin, which is perfect for what we're doing. So, those are my charms, which I'm going to be adding to my project. So, let's pick a pin to use. Now, I think I might do two. Oh, pin them all on, and then I forgot how I pinned them on. So, I'm going to do one big one, and I think I want to do that black one. They're the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. Wait a minute. Wait a sec. Because I'm going to do... Now, these are perfect for journals. They're also perfect, some charms, for fabric making, for using in your sewing. Um, and I've done it again. I've undone it. And so, let me just undo it here. There we go. Should we use the brown one? Well, we'll use the brown and the black too. So these will be perfect for your journals or um, sewing related. Who's not to say that they're not perfect for that? Now, the lovely Pauline 
I was my secret Santa of Christmas. She gifted me some jump rings. And these are open jump rings. And open jump rings basically means that they've got an open in them. Now, I have got jump rings um, that are closed, which means there is, no, there is no, with with these, if I pick up on my pliers, with these, there's an opening so you can pull them open. With a closed jump ring, it's just a, basically a full uh, round metal, full round circle. There is no open and shut to them. So, let's begin. Okay, so I want to take these gorgeous beads, look at them absolutely stunning now i did do before christmas and show you what i received from the bb craft um website so if you want to see that video i'll try and sort of tag it in this video um because of youtube's new settings i'm still trying to figure out what the settings are to everything but i'll try and tag it in um but these are stunning stunning beads they're porcelain beads and they are hand, I think they're hand, handmade it said on, I'm sure it said handmade on them. Anyways, I'm going to go, since they've got sort of purpley beads going on, I'm going to take my purple beads. No, I haven't got any spaces. And to be honest, I want to sort of show the beads off. I don't want to put a spacer on that you could do put a small bead or whatnot um but i i don't want to show them i don't want them to get lost um actually i've got something in my little stash i can use right there okay so for those that don't know um i used to do jewelry making i think i mentioned that at the beginning but i used to collect proper beads um proper gemstones to make things with so i think instead of using to show these beads off and to show the colors on them if nothing else i want to showcase um the colors on them and i don't think by me using bead caps it's not going to work so i've dug around and i've got agate gemstones in the front and amethyst gemstones in the back they're proper gemstones but I want to figure out tiny little ones, almost clear ones. So the beads I'm using, they're not going to be overtook by this great big... I'm going to get purple out because we are using purple. I don't know why I dig around. And we're using some amethyst for you as well. I'm using clear because, like I say, I want to show showcase these beads off. Come on. There you go. Right. Okay. So let's do a small one. I'm going to use a small one to begin with. I'm going to use the beads because they're clear as well. Um, it gives me more depth. I mean, you can use um, normal bead caps, normal beads. It's just for you know for me to be able to show these off. I just want to use something delicate. So let me. These have got holes in, but where they got holes in, I can't remember. There you go. See how that shows it off to the potential that it is. And then I'm going to put another one. So you've got that. Um, and then one of these clear ones on the top. So I'm almost got that going on. And as you can see, I'm hoping the camera will pick it up. On camera focus. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, ah. There. Now you can clearly see them. They are just stunning. 
Let me zoom in a little bit more. See how beautiful they are. So I'm going to keep my um, hand here because I'm zoomed in. Because I want to showcase these beads. And all I'm going to do is take my pliers. And I'm just going to turn it to an L shape. So you've got an L shape. You've got almost like an L shape. If I was to turn it that way, the beads would be at the top and you've got an L shape. And then I'm going to take my round knob pliers and all I'm going to do is grip it. Now, if you go here, if I start here, I'm going to land up with a bigger ring. Because with the round nose pliers, the bigger the, the deeper you get to the handle, the bigger the circle you're going to get. Oh, sorry, guys, you can't see. The bigger circle you're going to get. So if I use the very tip of it, I'm only going to land up with a real small circle. So... I'm going to go in a little bit and then I'm just going to turn it. I'm going to grip it and turn it. Grip it and turn it. And I'm going to keep going. And it does not matter if my hoop looks like that. Because this is where your brown nose, your flat nose pliers comes in. And then you just push it together and you will land it up then with something that looks like this so i'm gonna make i don't want it to be loads i want at least about two three going on um so i'm gonna make another one of these using these beads so let's go for something quick green love these beads mm, i think a purple yeah so again i'm going to use a clear that's where they are. There's the clear one. And then I'm going to use a purple one. So there's that. And this time, because I want to show the purples off, I'm going to go in with a bit of a darker bead. No, that's not the darker bead that I wanted to use. It's this one. Mm, okay, this And I love these beads. And I love the fact that sometimes when you buy beads, you're, you're wanting to buy then, you're wanting to buy then a, a box to keep them in. So this box is perfect because you've got, if I can get a bead out. Come on. See how each... And there's two, I think there's 200. I'm sure I read on their website there's 200 beads. Come on. There you go. Uh, there's 200 beads. Now, I'm sure they, I'm going to sort of comment here somewhere. But I'm sure these are hand made they're porcelain china beads i know that for certain so let's get this bead this little this is amethyst i'm using there's the hole so i've got that going on and then because i've used let me see what beads i've used i've used that one and i've used that one so i think i'm gonna go for one of these Got the purples in, and then I'm going to use a little tiny one to finish it off. And then again, take your flat nose pliers, turn it so you make your L shape. And then with your round nose pliers, again, I'm only going to go in a little bit, I'm just going to turn it. Now mine's a little bit wonky, so what I'm going to do, I have crushed the amethyst bead, but it doesn't matter because it'll stay straight. So as long as, they do call it um, 
um, a double loop loop in when you do that when you loop it twice I always like to loop it twice because then I know it's secure so I'm going to keep it there for you to see and then I'm going to take one more but I don't want it to be a big one I almost want um, what do we use that one that one and these I think I'm going to use oh did I use that one these are different beads different beads that one is the one I use so this one I am used so I'm going to take my little amethyst bead and then I'm going to take my porcelain bead and then I'm going to take another little amethyst bead um, if I can find it there so I've got that going on so because it's too much of a loop what I need to do first is I need to bend it to get our L shape and then snip it down if you snip it down straight away what will happen is if you do it before you put the beads on I always find I either snip it too short or I snip it not enough to make a difference and then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to loop it so I've got that so I'm going to make another one of them oh actually let's see how far we get so here is our pin I'm going to open these up using the wrong pliers I'm going to open them up and I'm just going to attach one charm now I have got a pair of flat nose flat nose but for some reason they've disappeared I would like to just squash that opening shut I know ah. hey. squash the shut so that's not moving nowhere and I'm going to do the same to this one Yeah, I've got bigger long nose. I think I'm going to buy myself some more long nose pliers. I'll open it up a little bit more. And I'm going to attach, because we're on the safety pin, on the safety pin, it's only right I get a safety pin charm. And I'm just going to push that through there. So I'm going to zoom you out for this. Just a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to take. I'm going to push this safety pin through and then what am I going to do then I'm going to close it then I'm going to attach there you go and then I'm going to attach because that's a safety pin on a safety pin why not attach another little jump ring to the safety pin this is what i love about these charms it gives you so much freedom to expand because even though they're charms they can you can expand some charms you get and receive and i've had them before in the past you can only do one thing and use them as charms charms can be used in different ways just depending on how you use them We'll go flying. I'm using the wrong clippers. But my husband took my clippers and didn't put them back where they belong. So, where's my clippers gone? Um, I just want to make sure that jump ring is not going to open itself up. 
says God put in your divorce. Go. So I've now got a little a little bead attached to a bead. So let's build this up. So because my I still want to use the pin itself, I just do one on camera and one off camera and show you what they look like right at the end. Open this up. Right, so I've put it through the loop. Because with a safety pin, this opens a loop. And I'm going to attach first through my jump ring that I've just created. My first. There you go. So I've got that so far. And they make pretty little pins. I mean, like I say, you could either attach them to journals or you can attach them and just put up your pins for sewing. Why not? Who says things have to be boring and things you buy have to stay as is? I'm going to attach that to that. And then I am going to attach another charm. There we go. So I've got that going on. I'm going to attach one more charm. And I think because it's sewing, why not attach a button charm? So I'm going to open my pins up again. Oops. Picked up the wrong covers then. And I'm going to go through the button charms. And again, these charms are just gorgeous. And I'm going to go through my loop of my loop they've given us on this. Um, I put the loop through first. The loop that they've given us on the. Let me find another one. I'm taking it through that loop at the top. And I'm trying to stay in, in shot. It's a bit difficult with beads. And because I haven't got my glasses on, I tend to go like that. <laughs> So you want to make sure that the pins, there you go. So as you can see, how pretty does that look? So let's do um, this one. So first of all, we need a jump ring. And because it's a tiny one, I'm just going to stick with what I've done. I, I was going to do another one, but you know, another lot of beads. There you go. And I'm going to push that through there. And I'm going to, I will have to open the jump ring to close it. Okay. And then, so this is what we've created so far. That's what that bead looks like. And then you bring it in short, Claire. That would be handy. What am I like? Right. So we're working on this one. So I'm going to take another jump ring and I'm going to open it all the way this time and I'm going to pop it through here and then I'm going to attach a charm. Now, I think I'm going to attach a little sewing machine. Yeah, why not? Like I say, doesn't necessarily have to be boring. So here's my little charm there. And because I don't know whether to do another one on here. I think I'll do one on each. Why not? And then that'll be my I'm going to open this all the way up. So if I'm doing the tape measure on that, let's see where the charms we've got. Oh, we have, I don't want to make it too heavy. 
I'll put the tape measure on this one. I'm going to go through here. And then I'm going to push these two sides together. So we've now got, that's what this looks like. And then I'm going to attach one more to here. But because I want it dangling a bit more, I should have just had a frame wave. Wait a minute, let me open this back up. I just had a brain wave of an idea. I'm going to make this a little bit longer because of the sewing machine there. I swear Chris is in the doghouse because he's napped in my tools. So did we all enjoy Christmas? Oh, I did. I did, I did, I did. There we go. I might need another one. So I'm going to attach that there. Attach this one now. And then I'm going to find that double jump ring. So it hangs a little bit lower. Come on. I hope I've been in shot this entire time. I am really trying. There. And then, but you can see how beautiful these beads are. There you go. Squish it tight. You can see how beautiful these beads are. So I've used that's what's on that one. And I'm going to attach one more because we've got two charms. Are you going to attach one more or should we do another bead? I think we should do another bead only because if I do things like this I've always got to work in three always right I mean come on why can't I find the hole there right and I think, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I know it's not purple, but I think the contrast, no, I'm going to go with these because it's just calling out to me, use me, use me. And I'm going to dig out for another one of these purple, like almost like a um, there, I'm going to push this to one side, and you got it, push, turn it, not quite straight, bend it, and then, Double loop there. You mind? I'm to put that. Take a jump ring. But the lovely Pauline gifted me. Open it up. I'm going to attach it. Um, I think I'm going to attach it to this jump ring. If I can find it. This one. There. there you go and that is my little project using beads now you can like I say you can use them on um, journals you can use them in your sewing it would just make something that's quite boring turn into something quite pretty um, so I do hope you've enjoyed today's video
like I say, I will be back. I have lots to show you and share with you. And um, yeah, I just can't wait. So I will leave the um, link to BB Crafts in the description bar below. I will also add my inbox in, just in case you didn't see me unbox the um, beads. And there will also be below what products I've used and their codes if you wanted to go and get them yourselves. These charms are so, so, so pretty. And yeah, I'm going to... I think I'm going to do that to all my, my things because you can use them. If I take a piece of fabric and just show you how how you can use them in your fabrics. So this is just a piece of scrap fabric and wait a minute. It's the, it's the pin is not quite sharp enough. See how pretty that would look on a journal. It would just stand out. It doesn't have to be boring. So I'm going to leave you um, watch this and enjoy it for what it is. And like I say, the beads are stunning. I do hope you've managed to see them in all their glory. I know when I unboxed it, the, the camera wasn't picking up the colours. Um, so I really wanted to concentrate on you being able to see the colours today. So, um, yeah. I will speak to you all in my next video. Um, Happy New Year if I don't speak to you before the end of this month. And um, I will speak to you all soon. Have a lovely rest of the week wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you then. Bye for now.